We are live. What is up, everybody? It is Jet Desert Fox, joined by my lovely, my lovely wife, Unicorn Leah, who's going to be helping me go through all of these excellent products from evic.com. We'll be showing you guys some of the best and some of the best and coolest gifts that you can get for somebody for this holiday season if they are an airsofter. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, sorry about all the noise that's coming from the shooting range, but uh, just kind of bear with me. I'll put links in the descriptions below along with all the other information for these products. So we're gonna start off with some gear, with some stocking stuffers. If you're looking for stocking stuffers, Enola Gay Smoke, which can be bought here at evic.com is always great. It's small enough to fit inside a stocking and they're not gonna break the bank at about $6 each. So that's $6 per smoke grenade. Now, one thing to note, if you are having these shipped to you, there is a $30 shipping charge. So make sure you buy a lot of smoke. <laughs> buy a lot of smoke and a lot of pyro if you're ordering from evic.com. All right. Next up, goggles. Now, a lot of people have trouble finding goggles. I've got two goggles here. Full, full seal. On the left, we have a Rothko. This is the OTG. Now, the nice, the reason I'm showcasing this goggle is because OTG stands for over the glasses. So you can wear these with your glasses. As you can see here, there's an insert, or there's a, there's a cutout right here for your glasses frame. And then also the, these goggles kind of sit more off of your face to allow room for the goggles. All right, got a super chat from Attic Warrior. Hey guys, hope you're having a good holiday season. I'm concerned getting an HK416. Should I go forth with it? Uh, yes, you should. We're actually gonna cover the 416 here in a little bit, so stay tuned. Okay, next up, oh, sorry, the price tag. The price tag on the Rothko goggles is $35.99, so not breaking the bank. You're spending under $100 for a good set of eye protection that you can also wear your, your glasses with. So all you glasses wearers out there, rejoice. There's finally a solution for you. Next, uh, for those looking for good, good goggles that do not fog and are not gonna cost over $100, we have the Global Vision Ballistic 3AF Ballistic Goggles. These retail for $29.99 here at evic.com. And it's just a very nice, simple goggle. It's got some foam here and it's vented dual pane. So fogging should not be an issue for you. All right, thank you, Leah. Next up on our stocking stuffers, you can never go wrong with BBs. We've got a bottle of Elite Force 0.20 gram BBs. You can get these wherever Elite Force products are sold. Now, if you get BBs, obviously you're going to need to load them into your gun somehow. And we've got two options. Or these are the two best options that I can recommend right now that's available to us. First, we have the KWA Speed Loader. It is an M it's shaped like an M4, so this will fit in an, any pouch, magazine pouch. And this holds, I believe, 500 BBs. And it's kind of like a traditional chicky, chicky, chicky speed loader that you're gonna press down on a lever and it'll feed the BBs into the mag. And this one's nicely, nice. this one's nice because it's super duper portable. Now, if you're looking for something that's going to load even faster, you're gonna wanna pick up the Odin. This is the Odin M12 Sidewinder speed loader. This is available for $39.95 on evic.com. And let me tell you, this thing is probably the best invention since Hop Up. Uh, <laughs> it just, I don't know why this has taken so long to get to Airsoft, the art, basically be invented in Airsoft, a quicker way to load magazines. This is my top choice for loading. Oh, let's see here. It holds 1600 rounds and has a one year warranty and fits into it any double M4 or M16 magazine pouch. All right. Oh, what's this? Oh, under four seconds. <laughs> All right, let's get some of the stocking stuffers 
stuff out of the way and let's move on to some gear. Now, not everyone likes to wear plate carriers. I realize this, so we've got two chest rigs set up. This is kind of a mid-level tier pricing. Give me a second to, oh, where'd my other paper go? We've got a lot of stuff, so I've got to have the price list kind of handy. Whoop. All right, Leah's gonna kind of model this for us. All right, so first up, we have the lock and load chest rig from LVX. This retails at $109.95. Now, the reason I'm recommending these specific chest rigs are because they already have the pouches in them. As you can see, there's already space for pouches. Just kind of briefly going over this, you've got a general purpose pouch on each side. You can hold grenades, water bottles, and Odin speed loader in there. It comes with a built-in holster, which can be moved from either this pouch to another pouch or inside another insert. Then moving toward the front, you've got magazine pouches and also pistol pouches. In case you don't want to take this off like a, like a traditional cross draw, like the chest rig, there's a zipper here in the middle that you can unzip down the center and take the vest off that way and everything is mirrored on one side. So whatever's on the left side of the chest rig is also on the right side of the chest rig. And again, this goes for about $100. It's quality work. We own, between Leah and I, we probably own about four of these things in several colors, just because it's handy to have. Super easy to throw on and goes well with any looking kit. <laughs> All right, now, let's say you wanna step up to something even pricier Next, we have the HSP D3CR. Now, there's a little bit more versatility, I believe, in this chest rig. Although it does come at a cost of $180. This one is specifically for the five, for 556 magazines. So you can see you've got two other slots for pistols or let's say a Gerber or something and two general, pur I think this is a general purpose pouch. Let's take a look. Pretty much, yep. I mean, you can stuff any number of things in this pouch. All right, okay, thank you, Leah. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Now, moving on, let's take a look at some first line gear. So I've got two belt systems here on the table. We'll just leave these here. On, the, on this side, we have the LBX Assaulter's Belt. Now, both these belts are a two belt system. You have, you've got an inner belt, which is this part right here, which holds your pants up. Then you're gonna, connected to it is the outer belt with Velcro, and the outer belt is what you mount all of your pouches to. Lower, please. There we go. All right, now this one again is the LBX Assaulter's Belt. This retails for $37 and comes with both the inner belt and the outer belt. Very basic system held together with Velcro. Now, if you're looking to step up your belt game, next we have the Grey Ghost UGF Battle Belt with a padded inner belt. This one actually is a lot nicer. It's more rigid. It comes with the Cobra style belt buckle. We uh, kind of demonstrate that. So once again, just like the LBX belt that we just saw, there is an outer belt and an inner belt, the inner belt hold your pants up, and the outer belt is where you connect all of your pouches to and other first line gear. Yeah, this one feels really sturdy. This is very nice padding. When just on touch, the material feels very sturdy. Once again, this is the Grey Ghost UGF Battle Belt, and all these products can be found on evic.com. All right, let's move these belts out of the way. Let's get into some guns. Gun recommendations for the 2018 holiday season. First up, we have the Elite Force Glock 17. This is a green gas powered handgun. This is a fully licensed Glock from Elite Force slash Umarex. Uh, I have covered this gun before in a couple of videos and as you can see this thing is just dripping <laughs> it's just dripping silicone on which is great great very reliable handgun 
Uh, the price, sorry, I don't have the price off the top of my head. Here we go. The Glock 17 retails for $169.95 here at evic.com. And it's just a really nice gun overall. If you, I've done a straight out of the box, so if you want to look that up once this video is over, you can get my full opinion and see this gun in action. Once again, Glock 17. All right, next. A, you guys might recognize this box. This is an AW Custom. This is the Competitor Series. I'm, let's see what this gun is actually called. This is, oh, that's right. They don't have names. They just have like nomenclature numbers. This is the HX2001. Got another super chat. Let's read that real quick. Have you heard about ex-general manager statement? Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yes, I have. And that's not really pertaining to what we're doing right now, but I'll give my thoughts on that maybe later on another social media platform. For now, let's get into this gun. It's the AW Customs HX2001. 2001. This is a very popular gun amongst uh, indoor speed QB players and for good reason. This is a very colorful, very nice gun. The AW Custom Series guns have been very reliable and perform very well, at least the ones that I've shot. And the coloring is very unique. So if you're looking for a very unique style gun, uh, definitely start with AW Customs. All right, thank you, Leah. Oh, sorry, everybody, That this gun retails for $160 at evic.com. Oh. Moving on, yeah, don't forget that manual. We have the ever legendary Elite Force 1911 TAC. This has been my sidearm of choice for a very long time for good reason one of the most reliable airsoft guns on the market in terms of gas blowback. The Elite Force 1911 TAC is CO2 powered. You can see the, oh, sorry, inside the magazine, you can see the CO2 compartment. CO2 goes in the magazine. Let's go ahead and load that up, Leah. On the 1911, we have, of course, our Picatinny rail sights and threaded barrel, making this gun very versatile. You can put lights, lasers, and a tracer unit on it all at the same time, if you wish. All right. The 1911 tech retails for $119.95. Moving on. Now this has been a hot seller apparently here at evic.com. It is a Tokyo Marie 4.3 high kappa. Now, if you know, if you've heard about Tokyo Marie, you will know that they are best known for their high quality guns. Basically, you know, Tokyo Marie is basically the uh, father of airsoft, if you will. I mean, I'm sure some other people will disagree with that. But when you think of Airsoft, you definitely think of Toki Marie. Very synonymous name. Now this gun is popular at various indoor fields. Not saying that it's not not used by speed softers, but definitely one of their go-tos, Toki Marie. And you can find this Toki Marie here at Evic for 175. All right, and rounding out our handguns is the Action Sport Games CZ P09. Now, the reason I'm featuring this gun is a lot of people are trying to look for something unique or different from the 1911 Glock style guns. And if that is you, then you should be definitely looking at the CZ P09. Now this gun can either be powered by green gas or CO2, depending on which magazine you buy. He's gonna open it up. This one is an all black version. There are many different versions of the CCP09. There is a gray version, a two-tone uh, tactical version that has a threaded barrel. This one is just kind of their basic version 
with a Picatinny rail. I will say that we own two of these guns and they, oh, sorry, four. Four of the, four of this series and they all perform, I mean, kind of amazingly. All right, we've got another super chat from Jamie Cooley. Just want to say thank you both, you and Leah, for making great videos for the sport. My girlfriend really likes Leah. Uh, likes that Leah is a great representative for females in the sport. Thank you too, and keep it up. Thank you very much, Jamie. Your super chat is greatly appreciated. All right, so it's gonna round out our handguns. Leah's gonna go ahead and put those away. Yeah, we gotta put these back up. All right, and next we're going to get into AEGs. Oh, I'm sorry, plate carriers. He's gonna pack this gun up. Uh, Luke Valles. Yes, this is a form of advertising. However, I'm trying to give you guys uh, good insight into guns rather than just trying to shill you random nonsense airsoft guns. Everything on here is handpicked by me for a good reason. All right, so next let's go over plate carriers. So we've got three different plate carriers for you guys to check out. The first one is our entry level Condor. This. I'm gonna get the info on this right here. This is the Condor Gunner Plate Carrier. This retails for $57.16. Yes, you heard that right. This is a plate carrier that is under $100. You can set it down. Let's set it down like so. There we go. As you can see, it comes with a cummerbund, plenty of molly space. Uh, I believe this is a quick disconnect here in case you need to get out of your plate carrier in a hurry. And let's see the back. It's got some nice mesh inside and it's padded. The back also has ample amounts of molly space. And I mean, it's just kind of a very basic plate carrier. All you really need, it's got some shoulder pads, but I mean, the, where this thing shines is the price tag at 57, what is it? Something ridiculous, 57.16. <laughs> Definitely not breaking the bank. All right, next we're gonna check our mid-tier. Well, maybe not mid-tier, but our next affordable plate carrier. This is the LBX 0300. Now there are two versions. There is the S and then just the regular. I believe this is the S. We look inside. Yes. If you look right here, you can see that the S and that denotes, denotes small. If you have a smaller frame, then this is definitely the plate carrier for you. The coloring is very nice. Uh, this has been my plate carrier for a very long time. I just recently switched to another one, but I still keep my LBX 0300 S on hand in case I want to wear it. Very comfortable very comfortable plate carrier all right moving on to our higher tier or our top tier plate carrier and this is a total classic and also a plate carrier that i thoroughly uh recommend to people and it is the mayflower apc and i had one of these a long time ago i still have it it just is used uh, for real guns, but I definitely would want to pick up another one if the chance arose. This is a very comfortable, very slick looking plate carrier. Everything you need, including a kangaroo pouch, lots of cummerbund space, and then the cummerbund also opens up so you have space inside your cummerbund. This is definitely my top pick for plate carriers, the Mayflower APC, and this, reta this retails for $224 here at evic.com. All right, thank you, Leah. Okay, next we're gonna get into guns. And the first gun up, we have the G&G &G ARP9. 
Now this is following the current trend of submachine gun based airsoft guns. This particular AEG uses a simulated nine millimeter stick mag. It's actually a really fun gun to use. I recently used it at Milsim West Flashpoint Astana. That video series will come out very soon. Oh, I asked for the gray one. Oh. Whoops, sorry everybody. So here is the G&G ARP9 with the magazine in. This gun retails for $210. And it is perfect for CQB. As you can see, you've got a very short barrel. The magazines can get a little cumbersome to store, but they are way lighter than an M4 magazine. The overall length of the gun is very short, as you can see, making it ideal for close quarters. And I've already covered this gun in a straight out of the box. So if you'd like to look that up and get my full review, you can do so. Thank you, Leah. Now, if you're still, if you are looking to stay within that realm of SMG guns, the next gun that we've got up is the Crytek Chris Vector. Let me help Leah here. We've got lots of guns on the table and it's gonna be this one. All right, next up, we've got our Crytek Chris Vector. Lee's gonna unbox that for everybody. This has also been covered by me. In other review videos and been used quite a lot. This is a very popular gun from video games and movies and an airsoft. This is the two-tone version you can see the one receiver or the bottom receiver or this section yeah it's not even like the yeah sorry not bottom receiver this portion of the gun is tan and black again this is just the this is a two-tone version they do make a all black version so if two-tone is not your thing then you can always get an all black one the Chris Vector here retails for $449. $449. Inside the box, you get your magazine and an extra Picatinny rail. Lane, it is $449. Not $4. <laughs> Don't worry, we're going through all the gun platforms. So that's gonna round, that's gonna finish up our SMG category. Next, we're gonna move on to AKs and we're gonna start on kind of our more affordable line. And that is gonna be our trusty SEMA. This is the SEMA Contractor AK. Hang on, let me take a look at the name, it's got a Kind of an unconventional unconventional name. Uh, unfortunately, the, Leah can't take this one out of the box. That right there is great. Okay, here we go. This is the SEMA Contractor AK. This retails for $110. The reason I picked this AK is because, number one, the cost, $110, not breaking the bank. And number two, you get accessory rails. One of the Kind of annoying things about AKs is sometimes you'll get an accessory, or for a basic AK, you're not gonna get any rails of any sort to put accessories on. This SEMA Contractor AK has top rail, bottom rail, and two side rails. Comes with a folding vertical grip, 600 round high capacity waffle magazine, quick detachment point, along with a regular sling attachment point. And this M4 stock can be traded out to, let's say, a PTS stock or any other kind of aftermarket stock that you desire. So for $110, not bad at all for an AK. 
and it's SEMA, so it's gonna basically shoot until the world ends. Next up in our AK series, we have the LCT AK-74. This AK is going to run $295, 100, quite a bit more than the SEMA. However, the build quality is a lot better with the LCT. Uh, if you've been watching my channel for the past couple of months, you know that I've actually not had a good experience with LCT. However, that is just me. <laughs> so your experience could be completely different. Uh, if you're looking to play a Milsom West game on the, <laughs> on the Russian faction, you definitely want to pick one of these up. This is very close to what a, the Russian service rifle looks like. This has the OD green furniture. It's so again, this is, you can also, you can also get it in all black. It doesn't have to be OD green. <laughs> AK master race. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Leah, for putting that back together. Yeah, you guys digging this Christmas music in the background when we talk about toy guns? Okay, moving on, we're gonna move to our higher end guns. S starting with as high end as you can get, H and K. Inside this box, we have the H and K 416 A5 AEG. And this is definitely a hot gun of 2018. I have definitely been excited for mine. It's okay, you don't need to take it out of that. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's packed in there really well. <laughs> yeah. I do have a review video on this, so if you want to see the 416A5 in all its glory, you can check that video out. Just look up Desert Fox Airsoft HK416A5. It'll come right up. Yeah, sorry. The, the packaging is super duper complicated. But like I said, you can look up the video on uh, which I cover this gun and you can see it in all its glory along with accessories all over it. So the HK 416A5 retails for $454.95. It is a higher priced gun. However, it is a very nice gun and it's HK, so. That's why it's high priced. <laughs> yeah. Because it's HK. <laughs> it's worth it though. I love that gun. Okay, and finally on our Christmas shopping list, we have the Crytac Full Metal Alpha CRB. This is one of the number one selling guns here at evic.com for good reason. These the Crytac series has been very reliable ever since its conception. And pull it up, uh, down here, please. It also comes there we go. So this is just the bare bones. It also comes with sights and everything. They're just not on it. Yeah. Actually, here, why don't you uh, turn that box around while I kind of look at the gun. Inside the box, we've got a spare magazine, front and rear sights, and an extra Picatinny rail. Now, Crytek is synonymous with high quality, and I mean, I definitely agree with that. Uh, all of my Crytek guns have performed very well. Definitely worth the buy. And the Crytek CRB Alpha retails for $255. Ghost Sniper, so Jet, when are you dropping that D14 gameplay? Probably next week, maybe even this week. Oh, Leah's going to take the 416 out so we can see it. I don't want people to be sad. Oh, all right. So I, let me just cover some of the nice features of this gun while it's out. You can bring it a little closer, Leah. We have an integrated front sight. The front sight is integrated into the rail, making it flush and not really noticeable once, it's, once you put it down. Ambidextrous controls on both sides. 
We have an enhanced magazine release with a guard around it. It's okay, you don't have to do that. Here's the guard, so that way this, this does not get caught on a sling. Ambidextrous magazine release. Rear flip-up sight. This very nice pistol grip that's texturized. One of the nicer things that I like about this gun is the stock. Just hold it right there, Leah. Now this is the H&K's proprietary sl uh, slim stock. To telescope it, you push down here and it'll come out. It's a little, <laughs> sorry, it's, try it's hard to do this with two people, but. I wasn't ready. Yeah, Leo's <laughs> not ready. To access the battery compartment, this is the nicest thing about this, in my opinion. Down here, there's a little tab. You're gonna push on that tab and then slide this down and that reveals your battery compartment. As you can see, I just did that one-handed, which is a lot nicer than, sorry, Crytac, but then this Crytac stock in which I have to push down on these two tabs. I mean, I can still, well, I still did that with one hand, but <laughs> this one is much, much simpler and aesthetically. And it says HK on it. Yeah, aesthetically <laughs> it looks nicer, in my opinion, in my opinion at least. But these are two high-end gun choices, the Crytac Alpha CRB and the Evercool HK416A5. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we are going to clean up this giant mess of guns that we have made now. Thank you all for tuning in. Hopefully you guys got some insight onto some Christmas presents for that special airsofter in your life. Thank you to my fabulous wife, Unicorn Leah, for modeling the guns. And I will see you guys later this week with a new video. Thanks again for tuning in. See you guys later.